you just had this experience. It feels really like profound for you potentially. Um, and then there's going to be this tendency to want to tell uh, your family and friends and try to capture the essence of it. Um, but usually it can fall flat because you start describing it, it's like, oh, it was amazing. Like we sat still and then we walked really slowly. And then this person shared about this experience and they were crying and then we sat still again. It's just like, huh, okay. And you, there's just like no way to recapture it with words. Um, unless you're like David White or something. So there is the poet. <laughs> um, so, uh, and, and also like a lot of these, a lot of the people who were taking care of you, uh, taking care of things while you were away, like the biz biggest expression of you getting something from the retreat might be, you know, taking out the trash or like asking like, how can I help? So there's this balance of like taking care of yourself and also recognizing that there are a lot of people who also had an experience while you were away helping facilitate this. Um, and just, to, it's a helpful acknowledgement. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the general rundown. Um, I, the first time I re I led that weekend retreat, I did Friday evening through Monday afternoon. Um, so it was two full days, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, yeah, and a Monday morning we finished at noon. And it was great, I loved it. But um, what I found is that there are a lot of, or a lot of people didn't come because of that extra day. And there were a lot of people who can make it work because it was a weekend retreat and they could go straight from work to the retreat and then be done on Sunday. And so I adjusted it to make it more accessible for people. And what I've found is that it's been, it, it seems to have been equally impactful or not much was lost. Um, and if anything, uh, people I think really appreciate like the punchy uh, nature of it. Um, so if you are like looking to run a retreat, um, the one model that works well does seem to be Friday evening through uh, Sunday afternoon. Some people end their retreats around noon. I go to 4.30. Um, and I also, so that's my like larger uh, public offering. Um, and I can hold like up to about 130 people at the retreat center I use. Um, but I also do a more intimate uh, retreat um, a couple times a year for my students who have been with me for a longer period of time. And that's a five and a half day retreat. And I cap that at, um, uh, at 16 people. And um, I might, I might bump that up to 20 moving forward, but um, that's a higher price retreat. Uh, everyone who's there, I know has experience. When I do open it up publicly, it's by application only. Um, and uh and that is more of my like more of a playground for me more of a playground in the sense like i'm bringing in a lot of different stuff and it's specifically designed to be like how can i curate the most impactful experience to really take people deep um, and go into places they might other not otherwise be able to go um and that one's most fun for me. Uh, it's very intimate. I know everyone who's there. I can track them as we're going through, and they're very full days. Like we start every morning at uh, 7 a.m. and we go till 9 30, 10 p.m. Um, so I am on that whole time, and all break periods go to planning and prepping. Um, uh, but I love it. And the the uh, reason I bring that retreat up is because that's the one that I started with. So you might be looking for like, okay, what is my access point into this? Um, I found the access point to be, um, let me do an invite only retreat for a handful of people. It was eight people I started with um, and make it a five day retreat for those who I already know, like have been with me for a while and want to go deeper. Um, and make it more of a, uh, a high-end retreat. In, in general, it's going to be easier to get a few people to do something at a higher price tag than a lot of people to do something at a lower price tag. We provide you with the certification and the credentials you need to teach mindfulness in professional settings. I invite you to check out our uh, webpage at teach.mindfulnessexercises.com to learn more about the program and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the inside.